All right, Jimmy, I'm looking, I'm seeing caramel color, skinny bottles. We have got to be talking sweet wine today. We are talking sweet, but we're also talking dry because today we're talking about Rieslings. Rieslings! If you want to learn about Rieslings, stay tuned because Jimmy Quayle's about to tell us everything there is to know about Rieslings. <laughs> Here we go. People, we are here. I need to tell you, you have no idea what's happening. This Off is the taking scenes forever. Here. The people coming through our shots here. <laughs> Again, we love customers. They are always number one, so we're gonna stop doing our videos when that happens. But Jimmy, has it been chaotic today? This has been, it's taken us forever. All right, so we're talking Riesling. We're back, we're finally uh, ready to go. Let's start this video okay. off with, I think the question that we like to start some of these off with, mm -hmm. what is the biggest misconception people may have in regards to Riesling? They think all Rieslings are sweet. That's done. Wrong. Video's over because <laughs> Rieslings are sweet, right? Well, they can be. And they can be everything from really sweet to really dry. Wow. Yes. Okay. We're going to talk about them. They're, all, they're also grown around the world. Here's one from Washington State. Kung Fu Girl. Everybody was, everybody was Kung Fu fighting. And we're doing it here in the U.S. They also, you would recognize names like Chateau Saint Michel. You know that big one? name. Big, big name. name. And then, uh, let me think, Pacific Rim. Yes, another one. That's also grown in the Alsace, and it's grown in Australia. The grape is grown everywhere, but it is indigenous to Germany, and that's what we're talking about today. The Germans, the Germans took the cars from us. Now they're taking Riesling. To, all right, give us, give us a, a little 101. Well, the overview about this is that the, the classifications on the grape come from the ripeness level, not the sweetness level that's in the bottle. Okay. And there's 13 different regions. The regions are called, where do you hear this? And Balga Beats. So Balga Beats. Oh, this is gonna be fun. German and now class. in that in that region, all the growing regions, okay. there is levels, and these wines, this is the classification for the Pratikats wine level. Pratikats wine level and right. Balga Beats. I like where this is going. Yeah. Man. All right, now everybody remembers Blue Nun and Black Tower. All right, there That's is, where we're getting too. sweetness from. That is, and there's why everybody believes that they're sweet. But in Germany, the first level of sweetness, if you want to think of it that way. Okay, seven levels. Right, this level is the better term. Let's start using that, people. We yes. gotta get geeky, that's why we're here. <laughs> that is, and okay. that's the cabinet level. Now, cabinet with a K, although the name did come from cabinet, they put their better wines in the cabinet. All right. All right, so there's the cabinet Understood. level, that's okay. That's the first initial level. Now, that doesn't mean it's bad or good. It's just that's the first level. So that's right the there. start on the sweetness scale heading to sweeter. It okay. is. It is. All right. Or ripeness. Got it. Ripeness. ripeness. Oh, see, I'm already not at the geek level I need to be. I need to keep watching. All right, now we're going to a spate laser. Spate laser. This is so fun to this say. This is. Now, spate laser, this is late harvest. Now, there is a harvest date, and it's past that. It's considered late harvest. Understood, but okay. what? All right, so tell me what's happening with the grape. Why would someone choose to pick late? Well, you're going to get the uh, the sugar level gets higher as the as the grape gets riper. Okay. Uh -huh, okay. Now, as the as it gets ripe, more sugar is in the in the grape itself. Then when they uh, when they vinify it, the yeast eats the sugar, alcohol level goes up. Got it. See, I thought somebody had to pick someone up yeah. at like band practice yeah. and they were running late. They're picking the stuff a little later in their spate laser, but that's not the case. Yeah. They're doing it purposefully. They do, and they have to do it this way. In other parts of the world, you can add sugar. Okay. You're not allowed to do that in a Pratikats wine level. So the Germans are sticking to the they're traditions. To the they're rules. doing it the right way. I respect yeah. that. All right, then you get to Auslese. What the hell did you just say? Uh, Auslese is different because uh, in the Auslese, this is botrytis or botrytisized. That is the sweet video we did, mm -hmm. and that has to do with the grapes rotting. Correct? Yeah, noble rot. Noble, noble rot. rot. That's yeah. it. All right. All right. Then when you get to the Baron Auslese and Truck and Baron Auslese on that one, now they're, they're actually dried on the vine. So okay. they're getting almost like as dry as a raisin. So you can imagine it gets really sweet and, and concentrated, but they get very little juice. Yeah. So but it's amazing juice, but very little of it. So I'm thinking the price on these has got to be up there, they right? There's a lot of labor going they into this. They can get crazy. Yeah. Wow. And then we get to ice vine. Ice, ice vine. vine. Yes. Now that, that the grape has to freeze on the vine, they can't just put it in the warehouse and freeze it. We call it ice wine. Like you can call it ice box wine, I guess. But yeah. No. Let's. St I mean, the Germans are doing it right with everything else. Why yeah. go wrong here? And then uh, they do make a sparkling wine. In fact, Germans drink a lot of sparkling wine. We don't see a whole lot of it in America, but it's called sect. 
S E K T. Sect. Sect. Sect on the beach. There you go. And you have some bubbles. Well, there's a there's an overview, and it can get really complicated. I just tell people that there, it's not as complicated to look at a bottle anymore. The bottles don't look so crazy to read. And if you just know that little bit, cabinet, spade laser, ouch laser, burn ouch laser, truck and burn ouch laser, ice vine, then you're up and running. Amazing. Jimmy, yeah. the Riesling. So mm -hmm. I, I think people aren't realizing how much Rieslings could really you know, move into their daily wine routine. Oh, the, and, the, and the food pairings and the ageability of them, they're amazing. You can pair them with all kinds of things. For the sweeter level, they can be paired with dessert, obviously. But if they're vitified, bone dry, they pair with all kinds of great food. Wow, very versatile. It is. Again, make sure you are keeping Riesling on your list mm -hmm. when you're in the store, and some of these are really yeah. interesting. So with that said, I'm thinking we gotta crack one of these and see what the spate layers is I'm all ready. about. I'm ready. All right, so thanks for watching. I hope you learned a little something about Riesling and the wonderful knowledge of Jimmy Quayle. So for this episode of Roger and Jimmy's Product Reviews, I'm your man, Roger Wilco. And I'm Jimmy Quayle. Thanks so much for watching. Prost. Prost.